वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 1.67 सो स्टेटमेंट इज नोइंग द फोर्स पी ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड 750 न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू पेडल एज शोन डिटरमाइन द डायमीटर ऑफ पिन एट सी फॉर विच द एवरेज शेयर स्ट्रेस इन पिन इज 40 मेगा पास्कल बी पार्ट इज करस्पॉन्डिंग बेरिंग स्ट्रेस इन पेडल सी एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग बेरिंग स्ट्रेस इन ईच ब्रैकेट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ पेडल वेयर a force of p is applied the p is 750 newton clear this is the frontal view and this is the side view now at this point c you can see this is pedal portion so you have to find this diameter of this pin at c in first part for which the shearing stress is 40 mega pascal then you have to find the corresponding bearing stress in this portion clear and in bracket you have to find the corresponding bearing stress so let's start with the solution now due to this load definitely there is a reaction force due to this rope let this is fab and at point c as this force cause it to down clear causing this to uh, to to have a reaction force like this and at point c we will be having a reaction force c in this direction that is resultant so i will represent this c is like this you can also draw its two component that is one is cx and other is cy clear and this is c that this is the resultant so how you will find this resultant you can see that if i draw a dotted line so this distance is 125 and this distance is uh this distance is 300 mm and this height is 125 clear so by using pythagoras theorem this distance will be equal to this distance which is let this point is e so we will find ce so ce will be equal to uh 125 square plus 300 square so it will be equal to 325 mm this distance is 325 millimeter now what we will do is we are interested to find out this c so this c can be found by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and force upward taken as positive so you can see we have three forces one is p that is downward the second is uh, mm, this vertical component so how you will find this vertical component so definitely you can see if this angle if this is making theta angle clear so its component cy cy will be equal to c into sin of theta c into sin of theta and sin of theta is if this is theta so sin theta sin of theta is 125 by 325 so c into uh 125 by 325 this is the value of cy clear so sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 so minus p plus cy is equal to 0 so from here cy is equal to p and since cy is equal to c into 125 by 325 is equal to p so p is so from here you will get c is equal to 2.6 times p now you have the value of p 2.6 multiply by p is 750 so it will give you c so c will equal to 1950 newton okay now you have this c you can see here that c will applied over here clear and this c will cause double shear in this diameter and also we have been given as allowable shearing stress allowable shearing stress for this pin is given as uh, 40 mega pascal and since it is 
causing double shear therefore single force shear force will be equal to 1 over 2 times c so we know that sharing stress in this pin is equal to sharing force so here that will be equal to half c because you can see one force and it is producing double shear so we'll take half of c divided by area of this pin so area is pi by 2 pi by 4 d square okay so pi by 4 into d square because d is not known clear so you can just put the value over here uh, d square will be equal to uh, c 2c over pi into sharing stress in pin so from here d will be equal to under the root 2 into c divided by pi into sharing stress in pin so put the value 2 multiply by c is 1950 divided by pi into sharing stress is 40 megapascal so 40 into 10 to the power 6 under the root so when you solve it you will get required diameter comes out to be 5.57 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and in term of meter this d will be equal to 5.57 millimeter so this is the required diameter of pin at point c so this diameter this diameter is d and this is equal to 5.57 millimeter now if you look at this point clear this point so this shaft will be having the diameter this so we will find bearing area so bearing area bearing stress so bearing stress is equal to bearing force into be, uh, divide by bearing area so if you have a hole three dimensional hole clear so this bearing area will be equal to pi d into uh, or 2 d into t uh, d into t sorry so you will find the second part bearing stress so bearing stress is equal to force here the force is c divided by bearing area so c divided by bearing area is d into t because you can see that if you have a plate of some thickness and there is a hole clear so you have you'll be having bearing stress area bearing area will be equal to the diameter of this which is diameter of this pin into this thickness t clear so you can just put the value bearing uh, c is 1950 divided by diameter of this uh, hole in which this pin is inserted is 5.57 so 5.57 into 10 to the power 3 will convert it into meter multiply by thickness now thickness of this is given as 9 millimeter so 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it you will get the bearing stress uh, in this uh, pedal at point c will come out to be 38.5 9 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or that is equal to 38.9 mega pascal so this is the bearing stress at point c in pedal in this portion in this pedal portion there in this portion now what we have to find is in third part you have to find the bearing stress in each support bracket so you can see this is the support bracket and this is the bearing uh, sorry spin so you have to find the bearing stress in that again this is your third part so third part is equal to bearing stress is equal to force per unit bearing area so c is 1950 into diameter of pin is 5.57 into 10 to the power minus 3 and what about thickness of this bracket so you can see the thickness of this bracket is 5 each 5 millimeter each so you have to 5 put 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 
so when you solve this you will get bearing stress comes out to be 35 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and in mega pascal it is 35 mega pascal so this is the bearing stress in each bracket at point c so in here you will be having a bearing stress is 35 mega pascal and this was all about problem 1.67 i hope you are enjoying my videos and you are learning from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question kindly let me know i will try my best to answer you thank you for watching